Hey drummers, hope you're well. Right, one minute drum lesson, here we go. The train beat, it goes like this. Sixteenth notes, or you could think of it as eighth notes. I'm gonna describe it as sixteenth notes here. Single stroke roll. One stick than the other. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Play your bass drum on the beat, on the numbers. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. You're gonna play your right stick loudly, accent it, whip it through on the and. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. If you find yourself saying, oh, I'm struggling with this, I'm finding this hard. If you find that, and this is, I can totally relate to this if you're starting out, you, you'll find that your bass drum goes with the accent. So you play it like the first time and then you go, before you know it, you've switched. So your bass drum's on the and, don't do that. Uh, just break it down. A willingness to do this is, in my opinion, the variable of success, learning just about anything on the drums and at a big scale is probably the difference between getting good at playing the drums and being someone who's just sort of stuck saying, oh, I'm struggling with this. A willingness to do this thing right, that I'm gonna describe right now, right? There are four events in this sequence when you think about it. So the sequence is, the four events are right stick and bass drum, left stick, accented right stick, left stick. That is it. Just play those, like say them out loud if you have to. Right stick and bass drum, left stick, accented right stick, left stick. Again, right stick and bass drum, left stick, accented right stick, left stick. Do that a few times at first. Again, I can only repeat, in my opinion, in my experience, a willingness to do that thing we just did there, which honestly, in my experience, most people simply just don't bother to do, will be the difference, in my opinion, between uh, getting good at playing the drums and not, or developing skills with these things or not. Give your brain, your hands, your feet, your nervous system a chance to see these things before building it. Set the precedent, get that uh, neural connection, that lovely pathway in your head to light up. It's like a pipe, right? A first, or a tube. The, the first, the, the, the pipe is very leaky. It's got holes in it. The information flies uh, all over the place. As you repeat that process slowly and deliberately, your brain, our brain lays down this amazing chemical called myelin, wraps around uh, that pipe, insulates it. So using musicians, it, analogy, image, it's like a roll of gaffer tape every time you practice that, nice and slow. By the fourth time, the fifth time, the tenth time, who cares, the fiftieth time you've done that, that pipe is so well insulated, your brain lays down that chemical and insulates uh, that tube, that, that, that pipe, that the information is going down. Before you know it, you'll be playing. But if you're there going, Oh, this is hard. And, and if you find yourself like, I always think, if you find yourself describing out loud what the problem is, you're going, oh, the thing is every time I play the accent, my bass drum goes with, it. so what? You're like, talk about entitlement. You're not entitled to just play this straight away. You have to build it, right? You have to spit on your hands, like shut up and sit down at your drum kit and actually work at it. So again, the sequence, right hand and bass drum, left stick, right stick, accented, left stick, right stick and bass drum, left stick, right stick, accented, Left stick, let your brain, let your hands, let your feet see it D before you try and play it at speed. Don't miss out the bit where you actually learn it. So that's how I do it. And then bit by bit, man, go have a little rest afterwards, go to sleep, come back the next day, man, you'll be, it'll be a little bit easier, a little bit easier, maybe half a percent, one percent, whatever, build it, build it, build it. I swear in no time, if you repeat that process, you will be able to build up this and in fact, anything else. That was your one minute drum lesson. See you soon. Oh, shout out to channel members, Mark, Rob, and David, who are all working on this. Cheers.